So we're going to start talking now about quadratic inequalities. We're just going to be a good few videos on these because these are the most likely question I think um, on equalities anyway that's going to come up on the Leibniz cert. So for quadratic inequalities, all the same rules still apply as for linear. So it's all the same except when you multiply or divide by a minus number and then you have to uh, change the sign. Okay. Otherwise, they're exactly the same as normal equations. As well as that, so this symbol here is less than or equal to zero, or else if you just get rid of the line in the bottom, it's just less than, so I'm going to write both of them out, but that symbol means less than or equal to zero, but it also means below the x-axis, okay? So less than zero means below the x-axis, uh, and you'll see what that means later, and then also this one here is greater than or equal to zero, and it also means above the x-axis. So think greater than zero is bigger, that's gonna be above, and then uh, less than zero is gonna be smaller, that means it's gonna be below, okay? So I'm just gonna highlight those or underline them because they're really, really important. So below the x-axis and above the x-axis. <clears throat> so we're gonna look at just uh, one example question in this video and then one in the next as well, and it's the same method every single time. It's just practice this method and learn it off, um, and you gotta should have no problem. So the question is going to be, x squared plus 7x plus 12 is less than or equal to zero, and they want you to solve this. Okay, so it's just a specific method that you have to follow um, when doing questions like this. So the first thing you're gonna do is basically you let x squared plus 7x plus 12 equal to zero. Okay, so that's step one. Then step two is you solve this, okay? So solve the normal quadratics, there's no um, inequality in it. So that's just gonna be by factorizing it. So I'm gonna go x and x is equal to zero. Um, and in this case, it's gonna be four and three are gonna be the two factors. So x plus four and x plus three. So that means that x is gonna be equal to minus four or x is equal to minus three. And let's just say one less than number three. I'll go a different color for it. Let's uh, fix the ink here. Go red. We're gonna sketch it, okay? So what I do is just quickly sketch the quadratic. Go yellow. So you look at the two points where it hits the x-axis, minus four and minus three. So remember, these give the, the roots and that's where this quadratic here hits the x-axis. So I'm just gonna draw a quick one here, minus four and minus three. So it doesn't really matter if it's not two to scale, it's just a sketch. Um, and you know it's gonna be a u because there's a plus before the x squared, so it's not minus x squared. Uh, so it's gonna be a u, yeah? So plus x squared means u. So now, I'm gonna mark in, that's gonna be minus four, and that's gonna be minus three. And now the last step, step number four, okay? I'm gonna say check OG question. So just check the original question. Go up. So it's where is x squared plus 7x plus 12 less than or equal to zero. So if we go back up, less than or equal to zero also means below the x-axis. So it's what, this, what, what it's asking is where is this curve below the x-axis? And we can see that it's below the x-axis here in the shaded region, yeah? So our answer is gonna be, you're gonna use these two values always. So the reason you sketch it is to know if it's uh, below the x-axis or above the x-axis. So uh, you'll see what I mean in the next example, just a difference. So you have to sketch it every time. You can use these answers um, basically to answer the final question. So again, where is this below the x-axis? So between minus four and minus three. So the maths way of writing that is minus four, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to minus three. Yeah, so you got those numbers just from this step here, step two, um, and then you get the just which way the these symbols are pointing from the sketch, okay, and also from checking the original question. So hopefully that method made sense. It's the same four steps every time. So you're gonna let it equal to zero. You're gonna solve it normally. You're gonna sketch it and then check the original question just to uh, get the direction of these things right. So we're gonna do another example in the next question, in the next video, and it's gonna be just a small bit harder. But hopefully uh, you guys thought that was okay and just remember these points here about quadratic inequalities. We'll see you next time.